And as you can probably see behind me, there's Christmas lights and a Christmas tree. I'm so excited about it. I decorated yesterday and it is November 5th. So it's a little bit early, some people might think. This is our Christmas tree. I mean, you would have seen it last year if you followed us then, but I always put a bow at the top and all of my decorations are like, uh, what's this called? Not holographic. There's another word for it where like you see all the rainbow, like when you move it. Iridescent, a lot of iridescent stuff. These are like real glass. We've already lost quite a few of them <laughs> that either I dropped or they came damaged. These are also glass. I get them all from the bay, no sponsoring here. But um, yeah, this is our thing. Usually we have a tree skirt, but this year we decided to try these like basket things just so Tumnus wouldn't chew on the bottom of it. So it's working so far. I put a little tree in the middle of our table right here. Ty is making sandwiches and when he wants them. She knows she gets some beef. <laughs> This centerpiece here. So I got this from, I think, Wayfair, which their quality is off and on. You never know what you're gonna get. I got these from Amazon, and every season I take out these stems and I put in like a seasonal flower or plant. This is the Christmas one, it's frosted. Don't you love it, Bean? It's Christmas. I'm still trying to get over the I know. It's right at the start of November. Yeah. It's so early. <laughs> I know, but like, I wanna enjoy Christmas as long as possible. And then I got my little Christmas candle going. This is vanilla balsam. And it smells just like a Christmas tree. It's really, really nice. And then this is my fireplace area. We got our stockings here. We got the joy sign. I put these like giant Christmas <laughs> ornaments up there. I like our little snowflake stocking hanger. And then over here we got the ice trees. They do turn on, but it's a really like cool colored light instead of a warm light. So it doesn't really go with my decor. You can't even see that it lights up. I mean, there's a hint of it. It's like barely anything. But I thought that looked good there. I'll back up so you can see. Yeah. And then over here in the centerpiece, I just put little Christmas balls in the middle of our basket. And we have a second tree as usual. And Tumnus has already been like eating the bottom skirt here. So it might be gone soon. We don't really know. My theory is that that skirt there reminds him of the top of my head. So he has just that inherent need to attack it. Yeah. He chews my head all the time. Every day. Yeah. And this has a little bow. That's actually like a toddler bow that I got off of Amazon. <laughs> because any other Christmas tree bow would be too big for this small tree. That's a toddler tree? That should be on a child, but it's not. The whole tree or just the bow? Just the because bow. Because I feel like that's a bit too much tree for a child. It's a little animal. violent. <laughs> and then our centerpiece, which Bean has not moved the boxes, but it's supposed to just be like the little cone trees and this little ice like deer. <laughs> Then there's blow up mattresses, good for the season. And then I made a little Christmas town, guys. Do you like it? I love it. They all do light up, I just don't have them on yet. But this one's like a light up church in the middle. And yeah, that's my decor for right now. I think I did a good job considering I did this in less than 24 hours. I also wanna say I did a poll on Instagram and I asked you guys, is it too early to put up Christmas decor? And it was literally 50-50. And like almost 10,000 people have voted and it's 50-50. I'm talking off by two votes 50 50 which I know isn't technically 50 50 but <laughs> Instagram like just makes it that way and then I always every year because I decorate early I get hate in my DMs people angry with me saying it's not even Thanksgiving I'm in Canada we, already we, had Thanksgiving. we had Thanksgiving like four weeks ago so there's no holiday in between Halloween and Christmas for us Canadians so automatically after Halloween I'm in Christmas mode I'm not in Thanksgiving mode we did that already <laughs> So hopefully that would like help you understand like why I go straight to it. But also like we only get Christmas once a year, right? So I wanna make it last as long as possible. If that means like decorating early, I will do that because Christmas makes me happy. And if something makes you happy, people shouldn't be like mad that you're doing something that makes you like, that gives you joy. You know what I mean? Like who cares? Do what you wanna do. Why are people so pressed? What's the thing? I think you would enjoy it a lot less if you were the one lugging those trees and all that stuff everywhere. Yeah, I know. Ty always puts up the trees and I, I decorate. Like a unicorn farted on me when I set that one yeah, up. Yeah, it's full of glitter. 
but he's so nice. I can't say it is for me. I'm still picking glitter off myself and it's been over 24 hours. It looks like you're standing in like frosted grass, the way the camera is cropped. Like if that's the case, you succeeded in your decor. <laughs> anyway, as you can tell by the title of today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the first Bratz doll. This is Bratz with an S, not with a Z, but this was the first doll that was ever called like a Bratz or Bratz doll. So I got this on eBay. They aren't sold anymore because they came out quite a few decades ago. So we're gonna open it in just a second. I'm kind of freaked out. If you saw my main channel video, you squeeze them and they stick out their tongue at you. But apparently it's really hard to find a doll that actually still has the tongue function because kids pull them out, they break. So I found one with the tongue function. Has this been blurred the whole time? So we're gonna try it out and see what happens. I'm staring at it right now and it looks weird. So we're gonna wait for Ty to finish his sandwich and then we'll unbox it. Whoa! That's a big sandwich. There's a lot of uh, filling, but not a lot of bread. These are the end cuts of my gluten free bread. <laughs> Your bread's so small. <laughs> it's tiny. Yeah, it, it does the trick though. It holds stuff. It looks like a Krabby Patty. That's pretty good though. Just gotta make sure none of it falls out. I just realized I married a criminal. We just got a phone call that said I did some crimes. Yeah. They're looking for me. Yeah, there's a warrant out for your arrest now, isn't there? It's all these scam calls and it's always a robotic voice. I know. Okay. Like 12 a day we get. Mini Brian doll. It says squeeze me and I stick out my tongue. These are really scary It's, a, it's the same with me. <laughs> it says the world's cutest but naughtiest miniature doll. A collector's item. Squeeze me and I stick out my tongue. It looks like, it's, it's probably an old reference, but you remember Mad Magazine? That's what that doll looks like. It has that face. I don't see a tongue in there. I don't know, we're gonna find out. This is from 1967, guys. So this is a collector's item and we're gonna unbox it. Do we have to unbox it? it, it it's still sitting in there. You just gotta poke its belly. I should just squeeze it and see what happens? Yeah. No, they said the tongue was intact. Why are the tongues always gone? That's the conspiracy. We Here's the thing. About. So I think that weird loop thing is this tongue? and the thing that kind of looks like a set of tonsils is like the tongue inverted. I think that's how the toy works. So the tongue is in there. It's just, it needs air to push it out. And I think the issue is there might be a hole in it. What do you think? Somewhere else. This is blowing out 1967 air. Well, hopefully, you know, <laughs> it's not. Just the scent of nostalgia and mothballs. Okay, I'm gonna try it a couple more times, ready? Anything? It's just squeaking. I'm so mad about this. This was not cheap. I can imagine. It's a collector's item after all. It's a collector's all. item, but like it doesn't even, it said in the description, the tongue sticks out. It's working. It said it was working and it's not working. Gotta have some words. This is what it's supposed to do. Like that. Like a brat. Yeah, I gotta say, I like the starbursts, like on all of the 1960s advertising. I know. It's like a comic book. It's like, whoa, bam. It's this really is what cool it does. having like packaging from the 60s because it's so different than it is now. Like, nothing would ever look like this now. It's like two colors, cartoons, hand drawn cartoons, like, basically. It comes out. So I guess it is an unboxing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to ruin it. Anyway, that sucks. I was hoping that the tongue would stick out, but at least I have this now. You guys can see it in my hands. The first Bratz doll with an S, not a Z. Yeah, anyway, sorry it was like anticlimactic. I thought it would be way cooler, but it's really not. It's just scaring me. It might come alive in the night and stalk us. Good thing it's only about uh, three or four inches tall. Yeah. I might accidentally step on it when I go and get water in the middle of the night. There's no damage you can do. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoyed my Christmas decor. And in the next video, we're going to be unboxing and eating the Wonka bar that we have to see if there's a golden ticket. After my dad watched my main channel video, he called me and he was like, was there a golden ticket? And I was like, I haven't opened it yet. So we're gonna do that in the next video. Stay tuned, have a good rest of your day and we'll see you in the next vlog. Bye. See you guys.